Today, I'm going to walk you through how to properly set up your website. I'm going to be talking about SEO, alt text, and how to include keywords using chat GPT to help us out a little bit because if you're not new here, okay, you already know this, chat GPT is my bestie in business and we do everything together and it knows so much about me by now, but it, it has seriously been like the best personal assistant that I don't even have to pay anything. So use chat GPT. I use the free version just letting you know and it's helped me get this far in my business okay it also helps me run ads but that's a whole video in itself so in this video we're just talking about website okay because that's still the number one most important thing even before you start your google business page get your website going so number one this video is not sponsored by wix but i absolutely love wix and this is why i have tried out other website software providers and none of it has gotten me as far as Wix has and what I mean by that is that I've been able to now understand what alt text is what SEO like putting in my keywords properly and how it all has to match like it all has to make sense and Wix has a way of letting you know where you need to you know put more work and change some things around because it, it has a checklist and it also does like revisions of your website every once in a while. And whenever it has new ideas and new things that it thinks could help your website and your business, it'll, you know, shoot out like, hey, you should update this, add this, yada, yada. I love it. Love it. Number one tip is making sure that your titles on your pages have to do with the service that you are offering. Okay. Okay. If you need help with how do I come up with the strongest keywords, rich keywords that will, that have to do with my business, simply hop onto ChatGPT, okay? And we're going to ask it, you know, come up with some um, website page titles that have to do with notary services. And you also have to give it information about who you are, you know, if you're bilingual, if you're a mobile notary, if you work a certain county or you know counties or is it only a city be as detailed as you can also put your hours of operation again this will help chat gpt for the prompts that you're going to ask it in the future it knows you okay and it starts to compile this like just profile on you and your business and every single time you hop on and you're like create a meta description create alt text yada 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 it knows so much about your business that you don't have to be detailing every single prompt that you're asking chat gpt does that make sense because it knows you, you know, with like each one that you do. My second tip is making sure that you have enough information in your website, like written out in text about your services. And again, who you are and how do you help them? Your hours of service, your, are you bilingual? Are you doing mobile? What type of notary service do you offer? Is it just general notary? Do you do loan signings, estate planning, divorce, adoption, you know, and you write all of this in there. My third tip is to have what is called an FAQ page, a frequently asked questions page. Again, hop into ChatGPT and ask it to come up with maybe even just five or 10 commonly asked questions in, you know, notary industry, notary services, or if you're getting into like all C services, just ask ChatGPT, come up with 10 frequently asked questions that a customer may have on notary services or apostate services or whatever you're doing. It'll kick back whatever, right? You're going to edit, make sure it sounds like you. And then I'm, I'm going to give you everything. I also ask ChatGPT to translate everything in Spanish for me. So then I, because I have Spanish clients and I'm really just trying to help out my Latino community. So I want to make sure that the content, when they search for me on their phone, I'm going to be coming up. So I have it in English and in Spanish, my frequently asked questions page. All this information helps Google to know what you're about and then it'll do something called indexing your website it'll file your website accordingly like okay this is a notary service in this county they are bilingual yada yada so when someone hops on and they're like spanish speaking notary you're going to be someone that pops up now the next thing is making sure that your images the file name 
has to do with your business and your service. Do this for every single file image. You can, at the end of it, if you want to use like the same keywords and stuff, you, at the end of the file name, just put one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. I have maybe like two or three pictures on my actual website, and that's including my logos. And in each of the logo files, I have, you know, Adriana Torres, Alpasti and Notary Services, Los Angeles County, right? Um, do the same for yours. Do it for your county, your cities. Again, alt text. Let me explain it to you. Google cannot actually see, not just Google, but like Yahoo, Bing, all these search engines. They don't actually see your website. They read your website. So when your website, before it can get indexed and before it can get, you know, filed correctly in their endless internet files, um, you have to make sure that you are giving it as much information as possible about what you do, who you are, and who do you service, okay? So in the alt text, it has to be able to read like your service. Hopefully that simplified alt text because it's, it's honestly not like that deep, really. Then the next thing you want to do is make sure that you are putting in your hours of service, you're putting in your email address, your phone number, can they call you, can they text you. The next thing I have on there, which I didn't have to do anything extra, it has a little like chat pop-up that comes up on my website and people can instantly just send me a message like I need a notary service at 3 p.m. tomorrow or I need apostille for this, this and that document, can you get back to me? And again, Nothing extra that I had to do. It's just something super awesome that Wix did. So thank you, Wix, for that. Again, not sponsored, but if you want to talk more, we can talk more. So now the next thing is connecting it to your Google business page. But like I said, it is so deep. Like we really have to get into detail with it. So catch the next video on this. I do have past videos. I just need to update some information. But if I will find the last video I did on Google business page so that you can just review that while I get the next video ready and upload it. And hopefully that will help you out. But that is all you have to do in order to start your website and connect it correctly, have the right keywords in there, the entire thing. Hopefully this video was helpful enough but any questions that you have make sure that you comment them and i will get back to you guys in video formats and just thank you so much for all of the engagement and the new follows and the, the new comments you guys are are really just helping me out especially in the last video where i was asking for a lot of your opinion on like what I should do next with my business and I just really appreciate it like I honestly do because I don't have a lot of people to talk to about this and so you've all seen my journey you're really my friends so I do appreciate it thank you so much I'll talk to you guys in the next one